it's June 20th, 2012, and I just had my consultation with my orthodontist about two weeks ago. Uh, basically, I just wanted to start video blogging about my braces experience so that hopefully um, adults especially would not hesitate in getting braces and hopefully find some comfort in someone else who's going through a similar experience. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk about my consultation and the results of the consultation uh, just because I think that a lot of people would have um, some similarities in my case. And not to say that they'll have all of the problems that I have, but they certainly some of you will have some of them. So, first of all, I'll just talk about um, I went into my consultation um, with my parents, and as soon as I got there, they just started taking some pictures of my face. I'll just show you them because I have them here. They just took pictures of my. Uh, uh, they just took pictures of my smiling face and my clothes mouth and my side profile. And they also took pictures of the inside of my mouth and they had to hold my mouth open with this weird contraption, which was, um, it was pretty uncomfortable because I have a smaller mouth and the assistant kind of had trouble holding my mouth open to take the pictures. Um, but it only lasted a couple of minutes so I kind of did it off. And as soon as the pictures were taken and put it off, in a couple of minutes, I went in met with the orthodontist and he brought my parents into the room because they're paying for it. So, um, and I have gone through a couple other consultations before, so I just let him know that I kind of knew what was wrong and hopefully there wouldn't be any surprises on my part, which was kind of tough. So, um, he just examined my mouth, um, no x rays or impressions or molds, just my eye. And he estimated how long it would take and what he thought was probably wrong. And I'll just I'll just tell you the specifics of it. I have a class class two malocclusion, which is just an overbite, but I have a one hundred percent overbite. So my bottom teeth actually hit the palate, my upper palate, and that's actually left imprints on the um, just above my front teeth there. There's permanent imprints there. I don't know how permanent they are, but they've always been there. So um, I think I'll just show you on the picture here. This is, oh, there it is. There's the other right where you can't even see my bottom teeth there. So um, there's that. And I also have three to four millimeters of crowding in the upper, uh, the <laughs> lower and upper. And um, it's not really bad, like it's not super noticeable when I smile, but I've always been self-conscious of it. And I was teased a bit when I was younger for not having perfect teeth, and unfortunately that kind of stuck with me, which is why I'm going through this now. Um, I've always said that if I could change anything about myself, it would be my smile. So, um, just a bit of crowding there is, uh, you can see my... Front and my thumb. Okay, there's the front. My front tooth sticks out just a bit. There. Okay, I don't even know where I'm pointing right now. Okay, they stick out just a bit. When I smile, I don't know if you can see this. This tooth. Right here sticks out just a bit. Not super noticeable, and it's not the end of the world, but, um, Definitely and I do have some crowding on the lower as well. Not super bad again. Um, so then I also have yeah two to three millimeters of overjet, and I think that's just because my front tooth projects out a little bit more than it should. So um, and another thing is I also have. Um, this alignment of my teeth, which I can't, can't really show you, but um, I will show you this if I can. But I'm, I'm using my webcam because I can't find my camera cord, so. Um, um, okay. There, there. So I just drew arrows there to show 
like where my canine tooth is, okay, yeah, my canine tooth should be in the position where the arrow is pointing, the next tooth should be moved over more, and so on, and also on the other side, I have the same situation where they're not quite lining up where they should be. And also a thing to notice, my crowding is not due to the fact that I have too many teeth, it's due to the fact that my dental arch is a little narrower than it should be. If it was nice and wide like it's supposed to be, and you know, like a dental arch should be nice and wide, let me show you a picture of a, of a model in the local dentist's office. Mine is a little narrower, which is causing me crowding in the front. And it also caves in a bit. My, my um, arch caves in a little bit at the sides in right here. It actually goes concave in instead of out. So uh, it's estimated to be 24 months. And um, the other consultations that I've been to before have said the same thing 24 months or two and a half years. Um, I'm hoping to get them off sooner. But I'm guessing that it won't take too much time to do the straightening aspect of it. Maybe six months to have fairly straight teeth. I don't want to guess too much yet, but I'm guessing the the other year and a half will be fixing my bite, which is pretty bad, and the alignment of my teeth. And also, just another thing to note is when I went in there, he was asking a lot of questions about um, if I heard cracking or popping sounds in my jaw, if I had headaches or earaches. That all has to do with TMJ dysfunction which I'm not sure if I have. I do have occasional cracking on my jaw that's very, very quiet that only I hear. Um, I don't have any pain or discomfort. Um, I can open my mouth very wide um, compared to other people, obviously. Um, so we'll see when I get the results of the x-ray that if they have that we have it. Um, a lot of people are worried about getting TMJ after having braces and I'm worried about getting having it already so um what else um I'm really fortunate to have found an orthodontist that does not believe in extracting teeth and um especially because he says that since I am an adult we don't want to change the profile of my face I have a I have a defined chin and jaw area and there's nothing wrong with my face Proportions. Um, so we don't want to change my face at all. I'm terrified of. I, I was terrified of going to an orthodontist who would want to extract like four teeth in. Um, and a lot of people have had trouble afterwards getting the extractions to, because your your arch, um, your dental arch narrows even further. Uh, it causes the skin or the muscles in your face to sink in a little bit here. I'm like an old lady that um, took the dentures out, so I definitely don't want that. It can cause premature aging. Um, so I'm really fortunate to have found an orthodontist who cares about my needs and not so much about the money and getting it done quickly. I'm really fortunate. So I think that's it for now. Um, I am getting clear ceramic braces, and I'm getting it done tomorrow morning at 8:30. So. I'm really nervous because they haven't really told me if I need spacers or if I need a bite plate, which I'm assuming I do because I'm going to bite the bottom bracket to get off, obviously, because my, my bite. So I'll find out. Um, I'm terrified I'm going to have a list. I'll be terrified. Um, and I apologize if the quality of this video isn't really good and my lips don't really match up to the words that I'm saying because I'm using my webcam. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to post them and I'll answer them. And I think I'll do my next video tomorrow or the next day when I find out if I can talk. Anyways, um, thank you.